and welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. If you clicked on this video, it's because the title says something along the lines of giving away my top 10 games of all time. And that's exactly what this video is about. This is not going to be a very long video. This is, in fact, a video that's redirecting you to my top 10 list. I just didn't want to bog down the front of that video with a whole conversation about a giveaway. So over there on my top 10 list, you're going to find 10 games that are my all-time favorites. And I'm going to be giving away a copy of every single one of them to you, the fans, the uh, people who have made all of this possible. This is a big celebration for crossing 30,000 subscribers. It's a mind-blowing number to be at. And I am so incredibly thrilled and grateful for everyone that has supported us along the way. So I have reached out to a few publishers. I have cordoned off a few of my own personal games and copies that are harder to get. And I'm prepared, 100% prepared, to give away my top 10. This is the first time I've done a top 10 list. I thought it would be a cool kind of experimental thing to do. I thought, how neat would it be to produce and let you all know my favorite games in the world and then for 10 of you, gift those to you. Be able to purchase or send or just celebrate the fact that these games exist out there in the market. And hopefully have you all experience them and love them and get the joy and passion out of them that I have. These are the games that inspired me to be part of this hobby, that bridged the gap, that got me to start this channel, that have made friend groups and, 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 and kind of carried me through some really hard times. So... Yeah, I can't wait to share them with you. There's some weird games on this list. There's some hybrids and experimental titles, uh, but there's a lot of good ones and a lot of ones I think you'll get a lot out of. So how do you enter? Well, swing back over to that top 10 list. Uh, leave a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But most importantly, leave a comment down in the description that has two things. First off, your top game of all time. Right now, as it stands, what's your favorite? I'd love to know. I'd love to see from the community exactly what it is you're playing and enjoying. And then second off, I want you to leave a quack. I like quacks. It's good. It's the theme of this channel. It's fun to see a swell of them appear out of nowhere. And it'll mean that you listened to this, which is going to be one of the limitations. I want you to have meant to enter the giveaway, not just left a random comment on a random top 10 video. So your favorite game right now and a quack. If you want to include which game you'd prefer to get, I'll do my very best to order things by preference. Uh, I'll do a drawing live on stream a couple weeks after the giveaway goes live, probably about a week or so. Um, I have no core trigger mechanism to it. We'll just figure out a time that works and we'll do a public live drawing. And then after that, my plan is as follows. If you're international, I will try to have the publisher ship you a copy of the game. I haven't reached out to any of the publishers yet. I, my assumption is a few of them will be willing to help us out and send some games overseas. Uh, it is just logistically impossible for me to get games over to places like Europe with the current VAT tax and everything like that. Uh, if you're in the state side, I will probably mail you the game personally, combined with a little duck or quackalope promo or t-shirt or dice or some other cool giveaways and goodies. Uh, I'll include maybe a little handwritten love letter and hope that you enjoy the game we send. If you win some of the big box games that are either right now in distribution or hard to get your hands on and we can't get a copy for you, I will order a copy or pre-order a copy so that it'll arrive as soon as it's possible. Some of you might be knowing the game that I'm talking about in reference to that. And then finally, if you're international and just all else fails, I will find a store near you and call them up or order a gift card or do something to make sure you're able to get your hands on the title if it is in any way accessible in your region. So yeah, that's the approach. A weird and wacky way to say thank you. Thank you for the past two years. Thank you for the support and the time and the investment and involvement that you all have put into this channel. Thank you for 30,000 subscribers. Thank you for what is next for coming along with us and journeying through this whole chaotic story. I hope you like my list. It's just my personal preferences and, and a weird hierarchy and a strange ordered system, but I really do love this space. 
I love that I get to spend time hanging out and playing games and covering and talking and sharing this experience with you all, the audience. This last year has been hard for many of us, for my family and yours, I'm sure. I've missed getting together and playing games and spending time. And it's, it's kind of interesting that as things start to slowly open back up, convention season is coming back. This is now going to be the time that I have the opportunity to meet with you all. Uh, Gen Con and Origins and BGG and PAX, we're going to be able to hang out and play games and remind ourselves why this hobby is the one that we chose to invest in, to be involved in this weird little niche in the larger nerd culture space. So yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and supporting. I hope you enjoy what we're doing and what we have coming up next. If you haven't checked out the vlog content, that's some of the most fun stuff we've been producing. Um, and I hope to do more of that. I hope to travel more and collaborate more and share and celebrate and just uh, explore the world together and explore the board game space. <sighs> and if you made it here, I mean, I guess I have one question for you, since commenting on this video won't help you. Uh, if you made it here, leave a comment down below. What are you most looking forward to over the next six months, over the next year? I'd love to know. For me, it's... Honestly, the combination of traveling more, driving across the country, collaborating and filming like we've already been doing, and meeting you all. I am a little scared, and I have no idea what some of these conventions are going to be like. But I can't wait. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I've said that 17 times. If you're still watching, get over there. Comment. Win some games. I hope you do. We'll see you next time. Thank you.